Hey everyone and welcome to the HWBot World Series here at the HWBot World Tour 2016 in Europe. I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and I will be joined by Roman. How hey, are Truth. you doing? Very You're... well. Now that we have something to drink, it's yeah, awesome. How are you doing? I'm a bit tired because it's been a very long well, weekend for us. Yeah, you have been very active. It was a lot of work, a lot of participants in the workshop. So I can imagine that you're tired. <laughs> Thank you. So you'll be here commenting the bronze final with me. So we'll have uh, Orion24 against Zizulio. And I guess that we are almost ready to go. I just want to make sure that everything will be okay. Let's tune in to Peter. Peter, you can hear us? Yep, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's start with the benchmark draw. It's the same like all the previous competitions. So there's six benchmarks. Reference clock, W Prime 32M, Cinebench 11.5, Dreamwork 11 Physics, XTU, and then GPPi 100M. You each have one veto. Once you veto, you have no more vetoes left, obviously. Uh, if you both veto, then the third benchmark is the one that you have to use. So let's start with the first benchmark. W prime 32 M. Okay, but both agree with uh, for W prime 32 M. So that'll be the benchmark then. So wait until we give you the heads up to start. Well, that was that was a very quick uh, selection. There's so. no no veto for that. Would you would you choose the the same? Um, well, it, it it really depends on if you have or if you think you have a better CPU than your opponent. Mostly in this competition, people are thinking about, do I have the better CPU? If I can clock higher, I will aim for a CPU benchmark and W prime is a pure CPU benchmark. So the cache frequency and the memory clock won't matter. So whenever you think you have the better CPU, you will go for this benchmark. Okay, and I think that we can now go for this first uh, bronze final here at the uh, HWBot World Tour in Europe. Peter, are the overclockers ready? So, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Here we go. They have 30 minutes, 30 minutes to uh, to get the best score out of W Prime 32M. That will be fast. We can we can be sure that it will be fast because 32M will just run for just a few seconds to give you a score. Even though even if but but still 30 to 30 minutes is not much. Seriously, this is if you have to, you, I mean, you start with cooling down your container and then you go to BIOS, then you do your settings. So probably it takes you like five minutes to, or let's say four to five minutes to do the first run. So you would run with a, you would start with a safe run and then you just go push up. But 30 minutes is not much, like not at all. Usually, sometimes if you do private overclocking at home, you sometimes <clears throat> you spend like two days on one benchmark. So 30 minutes is not much. That's that's why it's interesting to see what these guys can do. Orion24 is already in the BIOS. You can see that both of the guys are cooling down their CPUs and they are competing uh, to uh, to be... The, so that's the bronze final, so they're competing to be third or four uh, in this HWBot World Series here at the uh, Gamers Assembly in Poitiers. And this is called the Master of Overclocking Arena 2016 Europe Final. Correct. So what we can see now is the, the screen from Orion and 24. And you can see that he has the complete profile ready already. So they got the hardware yesterday and they spend a lot of time pre-testing. So they know what the CPU is capable of. So what they do now is they go to BIOS. They have the profile ready to run. Just cool down the container probably to like minus 120, minus 130. And then load the profile, go to Windows, cool down until you hit like the maximum minus 190 something around that and then you run so you can see now he's applying the profile and then he will enter windows just waiting to uh waiting to to have the system then restart and go for it that's quite interesting to see that these guys do actually prepare before coming here yeah well you if you want to be successful at MOA, you have to prepare. This is nothing which is done by luck. You have to be professional, you have to know the memory, you have to know all the settings in the BIOS, you have to know all the benchmarks, how to run them, you know, the, you have to know the basic tweaks. So you have to be really prepared. 
That's interesting to you. Uh, I, I love to see this uh, this match, 30 minutes of matches uh, and one versus one and this benchmark. Uh, it will take a lot of uh, of time for them to first start because the cooling down is actually the longest part in this uh, in this competition. They have to cool down everything because when they start, it needs to be above zero degree. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So the first approximately four to five minutes is just waiting basically in the BIOS until your pot is cooled down. So if you have, of course, if you have like a very fast container, you have an advantage of your component. Let's say if you have a container that takes 10 minutes to cool down, then that would be a big problem. Especially that 30 minutes. Imagine that in the 15 minutes round. Exactly. So I probably, yeah, this already starts the decision of your cooling gear and the way you cool down. These two guys can, can see Zizulio on the right side of the screen and Orion, Orion 24 on the left side with the torch. They're both using torch. Uh, we saw in the previous map that they either use torch or a uh, heat gun. Yeah, you can actually save time using the torch cooling down, which is interesting because if you cool down and once you hit like minus 60, minus 70 degrees, then you can torch your container. Then because of the burning process of the gas, you will have water inside the container and it will condensate and freeze on the outside of the container. And this small layer of ice will bypass the light and frost effect. And that way you can just cool down, let's say, you can save like two minutes cooling down. So there are, there are a few tricks which can help you like that. That's what I, what I meant when I said uh, there are different approaches to cool down. Even that can help you in this, in this case. Interesting, interesting. And they are... Blowing up the torch in the pot, that is always uh, nice to see. Zizulio is the first person to um, manage to go into the system. We will be dialing for W Prime 32M. Having, having a link on the desktop it will save you some few seconds. And we're yeah. just benching for 30 minutes, that's going to be important. So the yeah, trick count, you have to, you have to, to put uh, eight, eight thread wide. Well, this CPU we're using is a 6700K. It has four, th four cores, but eight threads. So for the best, uh, let's say, to, to cut off the calculation, you can divide the calculation into threads. And if you go to advanced setting, you can obviously split it up in eight threads, which would be the optimal way. So that's it. He already submitted the first few scores, Orion 24. Uh, was submitting scores as well. Orion 24 is 3.906. Zizolio is 3.72. The goal of this WPRAM32M for the next 25 minutes is to get the fastest as possible. So uh, the numbers have to be as low as you can. Actually, I just remembered that Zulio um, in the the first, what was the quarterfinal? He was um, playing against Extreme Addict and they also picked WPRAM32M. So this should be a big advantage for him because he already knows, like today, what is his CPU capable of in uh, W'32M. And I just remember they also still have the scores on my, fo on my phone because I was a judge uh, writing down the scores. So I can check what he achieved earlier so we can maybe estimate where they are heading to. So uh, before he had uh, 3.435 seconds. That's what he achieved before. They both crashed the system, so we'll wait for them to, to restart. So Orion is at 3.906, Zizulio is 3533. You can see what he can do. There's a, as you say, uh, his best score was 3.435 uh, 3 in the in the, in the quarterfinal. And so he knows his CPU and his system can already do that. Uh, exactly. It's just a matter of time for him to uh, put that So he, he basically has just to reproduce what he did before. So just uh, remember the setting he used before. Uh, make sure he has the right temperature and then just go. So it should be, I'm pretty sure we will see 3.4 something really soon from him. Because before he already started at that time. So. <laughs> right to it. So we have Orion benching at the moment, but the system crashed. As you can see, the same crash faster and it's no blue screen because the blue screen doesn't even appear because it's not stable enough to have the blue screen even uh, uh, being displayed. Back so, to Zolio, 3.499. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, should be easy for him to hit something like 3.4 something. And now I guess it will be tougher. 
I remember last time uh, the next step he took was 3.465. Um, so should be uh, he should be okay. It's just, it's the same score again. 3.499. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, 3.499 again. 6.1. So 6.1 gigahertz. A little bit more than 6. Uh, almost 6.2 gigahertz. Yeah, 6.2. The ratio is at 5.4. A little bit more than that. What, what, what he could do is lower the ring ratio actually because ring ratio doesn't help whatsoever in W Prime. He could leave that at 20. <laughs> Obviously, we cannot tell him now, but. <laughs> like I said before, this is a pure CPU benchmark, so actually only the CPU core frequency matter. That's also why he doesn't touch the memory. You can see he's using 1.2 memory voltage. That means that he's probably leaving the memory completely at stock because it just doesn't help in this benchmark. Both of the overclockers restarting the system. Orion 24 3.906 is already back in the game. Setting up, so running the benchmark. That's going to be quite fast if it does work. Checking temperature. Up, oh, running the benchmark. Can it can it complete? Two person. Full 3.5. Four, eight. Still a better score than what he had. Not as good as the one from Tizulio at the moment. But it's you can see it's getting closer, much closer. It's only 50 milliseconds. That is not much. But from from my testing, 50 milliseconds is like 50 megahertz on the core difference. So 50 to 100 megahertz difference. Uh, it's not that easy to uh, to catch up, I guess. Here we have Zizulio back in the system, changing the STV6 voltage, changing the CPU core voltage at 1.85. So even there is a lot of room left, I guess. Well, depends on if the CPU keeps scaling with voltage, but I saw earlier Dankov using 2.05 volt on the CPU, so I'm not sure about his CPU, of course, but if it also scales with voltage, there is some room left, I guess. Let's try to see how high it can go. 102 of base clock at 61 multiplier. So this will give him a nice boost. Cooling down the system. Before applying the settings and running the benchmark. Six point two six point two two gigahertz. Calculating. Can, so can see, he, can he see that's what happens if you forget to set the threat the threat uh, count. So you forgot to set it to eight. So you have to restart everything. So you did wait for something. Maybe it was getting colder, and that could uh, always influence on this final uh, score and if it's stable or not. Running 50 percent. Final score 3469. Improving his score, still in the lead. Yeah. Nice one. That's the one he had before, like on the, on the first round for like. 15 minutes and then in the end he improved once to 3.435 so I have the feeling he will do exactly the same again Orion is uh, struggling with his system you have to re-eat every time a little bit more uh, to did get Orion, the system boot up did Orion also improve his score? like 3.485? yep that did just the one before when we were talking about the Zulio he did improve it ah okay time. okay so Zizulio crashed, that's why he's uh, torching at the moment. Um, Orion24 is in the BIOS. Is he booting with 6.2 GHz? Really? In, in ring ratio. Holy beep. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing, booting with that frequency. I didn't see that before. Can you Everybody Everybody else is just going to Windows at like 5 GHz and, and, and pushes up the frequency in Windows. And that guy is booting with 6.2. I wonder what happens uh, if he would not do that. Not even sure. Maybe maybe that's even a better way, actually. I've never seen that before. <laughs> that's surprising.
the two guys. So Zizulio is crashed, so you have to restart the system. Orion 24 is uh, just restarting. There's uh, people from the live chat, we are monitoring the live chat, so if you want to encourage your best of a clicker here, are you cheering for Zizulio or Orion24? We have Dark Gregor cheering, good luck Orion French power. So this video still struggling with this system. Oh, Orion 24 just crashed as well. You can see they need to use the liquid nitrogen to cool down the uh, the system. These two overclickers are now restarting all this. So it's almost half time now. Almost half time. They're already at 3.469 or 3.469. Both of them. What? 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 Really? What? They both exactly have the same score. That is, that is interesting. That is really interesting because W prime is a benchmark where you have to have always uh, a good step in frequency to get a, another step in a benchmark. So you probably need another 30, 40, 50 megahertz until you get a, a better score in a benchmark. So I guess this is just like the. The deciding thing will be who can manage to run another 30 megahertz on a CPU to get another step in a benchmark. This is not the easiest benchmark though. This is Zulio, the screen, changing the number of threads. Almost ready to go. Running the benchmark. Damn, it crashed. Damn! Damn! When I talked to him earlier, I asked him about how it went in the first in the, in the first round, and then he said his CPU is strange. He he sometimes can run full pot and sometimes not. So what he's doing is just try it over and over again. So so Trump, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Then. So he just goes to Windows, pushes up the voltage, mainly PLL voltage, and then he fills up the pot. Then he clocks up and runs the benchmark and then it crashes sometimes and sometimes it just runs. So probably like one out of five it runs. But yeah, if it runs, obviously with a colder temperature you can uh, achieve a higher clock. The two overclickers are still restarting the system, so that's why we have the two cameras with nothing. Our N24 just get in the BIOS. Let's see what is changing. 1.02 volt on the CPU core voltage. So this is it. Now that the barrier has been broken by the first uh, by the first team with Dan Cup going above 2 volt on Skylake CPUs, this is something we will never have thought we could see in a live final. Especially booting from BIOS. That is next level. I, s I saw people like being afraid of 2 volt and struggling on Windows, like should I apply or not? And then there is this guy booting with 2 volt. That takes some serious balls to do that. So here we have back in the league. Running the benchmark, Zizulio need to do Better than three, four, six, nine. Oh, it crashed. That is too close to the edge. That's the thing. He's like swiping a little yeah. bit with one feet. Yeah, that, just that's probably what, what he did before. Like he's now trying to try it over and over again. And maybe once he can run it. What what happens if the score stays the same now? Like what if there's a tie? I don't know. We should ask Peter for that. It could be interesting. 
Well, maybe that's... maybe you just continue until someone breaks a new one, or someone breaks the CPU. <laughs> or but you're out. But 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 still, then they already have the scores, so that cannot be the decision. That's gonna be interesting. You just redo a match after. <laughs> maybe a deciding benchmark, like another uh, pick. Yeah. That could be interesting to see. But let's face it, there's these core are super close, right? You cannot be closer than that. And no, it's even exactly even the same. even even the difference between like even the regular scores, the difference are super close all the time because the score is not that big. Yeah. Also, the problem is that uh, for W Prime you have steps in the benchmark. It's not like you could get 3.468. So the next step will be something like it's probably what Zulio had before. So probably 3.435 would be the next step. And for that, you need a lot of more frequency. That's why it's so hard to, to break that score at the moment. You guys trying to go into the BIOS but not managing it? Orion24 is always looking on, the, on his motherboard to see if there is... Uh, I, th I think he is uh, he's checking if there is some condensation on the VGA. So apparently this, the tonal paste of uh, Zuzulio just cracked. Cracking means that the tonal paste doesn't stick anymore to the CPU core. That happens if like the temperature difference between the core and the CPU IHS is getting too high. Then it's kind of lifting off, it's, it's separating from the core. Then what you have to do is you have to heat back up to let's say minus 30, minus 20 degree and run a heavy benchmark like XU. For and then, to melt again? Exactly, then the, the thermal paste would melt and then it sticks again to the core and then you can pull back down. But if this happens to you, then the, the risk of the cracking is getting higher and higher. So you can only do that like two or three times and then you have to remove the container and redo the, the thermal paste completely. And this is like a, like a 20 minute process. Exactly. And see, there's 10, almost 10 minutes left in this bronze final to decide who will be the third in the AWBOT World Series DA Master Overclocking Arena Europe here at the Gamers Assembly. You can see them struggling a lot uh, just restarting the system. Can see them struggling a lot for that, and yeah, yeah. Especially in the 30 minutes round, you lose at least at least 30 seconds just restarting the system. But every yeah. time you have to torch, you have to yeah, oh. you, you have the cold bug, so the cold boot bug. So you cannot uh, once it crashes, you cannot go straight back to Windows. You have to heat back up depending on the CPU. Some some need minus 80, some need minus 160. So somewhere between that range, uh, you have to heat your CPU back up. Go into Windows and then cool back down. And that's also why it, why I find it amazing that Orion is uh, booting with that frequency. Because usually you cannot boot that low in temperature. That means that the CPU is capable of a lot. Let's see a new score. You have to be better than 3469, but it's, it's crashed. crashed. Less than nine minutes left. You can see he's actually torching and removing the torch, torching again, removing the torch, torching again. This is because the uh, liquid nitrogen is the neutral gas. So the, the nitrogen itself is a neutral gas, so it will not sustain fire, will not take fire as well. So you just end up without nothing to burn. In exactly. The There's just no ox oxygen left, yeah. which could burn. We have Zizulio that is now back in system do you think he will play safe just going step by step and trying to push a little bit more i think there is no no point in going safe because if you manage to run like with 20 megahertz higher than before it won't be enough to get another step in a benchmark so probably you have to just go full out push another 40 50 megahertz and just keep trying there is no other way around it He was not quite sure, he didn't really run the benchmark, just launch it and it freezed. So maybe it's this uh his cracking is uh is putting yeah. some issue and strength. Yeah, it. yeah. I also didn't see if he uh went back up in temperature on the pot. So
have Zizulio still struggling to go uh, to boot the system again. Since he's uh, managing to, to get into the BIOS still. They are both at the exact same score right now, and there's only 7 minutes left in this competition. For the bronze final. I'm still wondering what's happening if they are both on par, if they both have the same score. We will have Peter deciding on that. I think it's already thought. Maybe he can join in the conversation with his headset and clarify the rules. <laughs> he could indeed. Here we have Zizulio is, the, is now back in the system. Uh, Orion24 is in the BIOS changing some settings. He's, seriously, if, if he can manage to boot with 6.3 GHz, that would be the highest boot I've ever seen for Skylake. And this guy was a complete amateur last year. Well, Sulio is he has he has been around for ages. He's a well known right. and very very. You very really played the same way as well, huh? Yeah. Less than six minutes left in this bronze final for the HWBot World Series here at the HWBot World Tour 2016 in Europe. So almost only five minutes and still the same score. Tizolio in the BIOS booting at 4.5.4 uh, gigahertz. It seems it seems super light compared to Orion booting at 6.3. Or trying to boot at 6.3. Maybe he should just boot at 6 and race in the BIOS because if he, if he can boot with 6.2 at that uh, temperature, that is a really, really good CPU. There's a lot of people here at the Gamers Assembly checking out what's going on with these. Checking out the computer cooking show. Here we have Orion24 back into the game. Sam with Guys, we will have Massman soon. Maybe he can clarify what's going on uh, if they are on par with the same score. Peter, we can hear you now. Hey, can you hear me? Yep. So, in case there's a tie after the first 30 minutes, we go in overtime. Overtime is five minutes. Whoever gets the best score in those five minutes wins. And what happens if there's no scores? That is uh, another five minutes. Okay. Thank you, Peter. So now we know, uh, yeah. So basically, if the time is, if the if the time's up and it's still the same, then we will just add another five minutes. Thank you, guys, if you are joining here on Twitch. This is the HWBot World Series Bronze Final here at the HWBot World Tour 2016 Europe and it's a pleasure to be commenting myself Truthman with Roman Der Bauer. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. There's only 3 minutes and 24 seconds oh, left. Oh, oh, damn it. And it crashed again. So you can see at 50% it, the time was 1.891. So I'm sure you can calculate it in your head like times twice. No. I also cannot do it. <laughs> well, that's how we could estimate um, the score he would have. See that um, Zizulio is crashed, didn't finish the benchmark, too close to the edge, so sadly didn't pass through. Orion24 is back in the BIOS and he's trying to boot at 6.26 kickers. You want to apply? Yes. We restart the system. Might have to eat up a little bit. 
make sure it can pass the booting screen. In case you're wondering why the screen of Zulio is still frozen, um, usually if it if it freezes, you don't press reset or anything. You just take the torch and heat it up once you hit around, so let's say minus 150, minus 160, and then you try if you can do reset, because sometimes you don't have uh, a cold bug if you press reset. But for that, you have to bypass the cold boot bug. So be below the cold boot bug, press reset, and then sometimes you're lucky and you can just go back to bio, add back to Windows. There's less than a minute and 15 seconds left in this bronze final being Zizulio against Orion24. Recovery screen. No one wants this one, especially in the competition of 30 minutes. You don't want to do a recovery of your OS. Neither install your operating system under LN2. Even though a lot of people always does, uh, d does it. Yeah, I often see people installing Windows on LN2 because they're just too lazy to mount an air cooler. Orion24. Ready to run the benchmark. So this could be very deciding if he's doing a better score than before. That would be close, that would be close. 3, oh! 4, 71! Yes! It's almost no. so close. 3 oh. milliseconds, 3 milliseconds. So close. So close. Running again. I just thought it would beat it. For a second I thought it was And it faster. crashed, and it crashed sadly. Damn it! Damn! This Zulio is now um, in the system. Finally he managed to boot up. <laughs> 5.4 gigahertz. So that's, there you can see a big difference in how they approach the, the whole benching thing. Like Orion just boots really high, goes into Windows and uh, Zulio just do, does a safe boot. Left. And there's 20 seconds left in this competition. So if there is no score within the next Zulio, 15 seconds, Zulio, which is better, no, three, it's five, not better. Six, four. Not better. So there will be overtime of five minutes. So we are now in overtime. Uh, this is the first time. This is the first time this this is happening here at uh, in in this uh, in this competition. Uh, this is completely brand new for for everyone in here. That's the first time this ever happened. And it's going for five minutes. <clears throat> so they have basically they had 30 minutes and then they will have 35 minutes to to get that. Oh oh oh! Look look at that! Look at that! Look! It's five minutes. Who gets the best score? Look at that! Oh three, uh, three point forty three seven. That was that was damn, better. Th that, that was better, but that was after after the goal. So now they have five minutes more and say who ends up with the best score. Yeah, but that's already one. that's better than what what we had before. Yeah, so, it's too it's too bad that it was like thirty seconds late to submit the score. But it just took twenty minutes to get to this score, so it will be really really hard to beat that one. And if if we take a look at the score, this one is three point four three seven, and at the the quarterfinal he had three point four three five. So. This is actually almost the same than what he hit before. It's gonna be... This, this is gonna be very stressful for the guys. This is the first time ever in the HBO World Series that we have to go over time. And these five minutes will go super fast. It's if, already... you don't, if you don't manage to go boot the system and go straight to bench, it's already like a minute and 15 seconds out. There's only yeah. three forty three forty seconds left. Yeah, and you have to you have to keep in mind that every time it crashes, you have to heat back up. Like you have to get rid all of the all L, uh, of all L and two in the container. Then you have to go back to BIOS. Then you have to cool back down. So you probably lose a minute every single time it crashes, or even more, maybe two minutes. So there's not much time left to do runs. Maybe two at best. Uh, the timer will actually, the countdown will finish a little bit earlier than what we have on the stream. Um, like 15 seconds around that? Yeah, about 10 to 15 seconds. This is super close. Both of the overclockers trying to restart. 
there you have you have uh, the Zulio in the system. He he want to he want to push it as much as he can because he doesn't want to let Orion twenty four gain any advantage in this. So technically, the the five minutes are not even overtime. It's a refresh because you have to have a new score. Yeah. So it's not you even need overtime. To, yeah. It's just a reset. It's a reset, and then it's like the same competition, but instead of thirty minutes, you only have five minutes, <laughs> which is even tougher. <laughs> that, that's actually insane indeed. And there's two minutes left in this extension reset of the uh, bronze final. Oh, we'll have the timer when there's only one minute left. Get some information there. Uh, almost one minute left. Him? Alas, when only one One twenty now. The timer we start at one minute exactly. Those 20 seconds are long. Forty-five. Tell me when it's thirty. Yeah, we'll have to wait for Massman to uh, to do the timer because we cannot get the timer exactly at the same time. But apparently, it should be like 20 seconds now. Three seconds. Okay, 20 seconds from now on. Three point four three seven. So far, only Ten. you have a score. Eight. Yeah, this is six, over. This is five. Yeah. Four. Three, two, one, it's done. Congratulations, you can see, you can see him. You can see him relieved. Relief you can see him smile. That is really <laughs> rare. Keep that imagine, imagine in your head. Zulio is smiling. <laughs> so that's the first time we had to go to, to the uh, overtime reset. I wouldn't call it overtime. I would call it insane time. Because you death, only have death match. It's basically a death match, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zizulio is the third guy to uh, thir third place in this HWBot World Series. So that Master means Brothers he's Brothers. getting cash price, right? He's getting a thousand USD in cash price. That uh, is a good cash price for sure. Uh, Orion 24 was so close. That, that battle was super tight. That battle was, was extremely tight for both of the guys to you know, get the, same, the exact same score at the very end. That was super tough. And they had to run these extra five minutes to, to decide who will have uh, to we have to go there, but they have to submit a score, and that's actually why uh, Orion 24 struggled because he had to redo a score. And exactly, exactly. But that's what I said before. It takes a lot of time. Once you you your system crashed, you have to heat back back up. You have to get rid of the LN2 in the container. Then you go back to BIOS, and then you cool back down, and then you go to Windows. So this, if this takes two or three minutes, that's already it. Then you can only do one run in Windows. So you can, if there's five minutes overtime, the best you, sh you can do is just do a safe run in Windows. <laughs> yeah, basically that would be like a go back to default and well, run. Basically, uh, Zuli was happy that exactly at the, the time when the overtime was announced, he was ready to hit another good score. And then he, like five to ten seconds later, he had the best score. If that happened ten seconds earlier, it would be a, it would a have, big... He would have won already. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it guys uh, this was the bronze final uh, we, we just saw Zizulio and Orion24 fighting for uh, the third place here at the uh,
Master Overclocking Arena 2016 in Europe. Uh, Zizulio, we go back home with a bunch of hardware. I think he's uh, winning a PSU, a bench table, the open bench table, the special project that we did unveil this weekend. And he's also going back home with uh, a cash price of 1,000 USD. That is a quite decent and good uh, cash price, especially at this level of competition. That was the first time ever these guys experienced the one versus one format of overclocking competitions. We hope that you guys enjoyed that as well. We'll take a short break and come back with the grand final for the MSI OC Academy, the amateur. And maybe right. that will be League of that will be uh, coming back for the commentary. Could be, yeah. So, take care, guys.